A person develops a unique sense of self-worth from being creative. Often creative activities are hampered by a lack of materials. Yet within every community, there is a wealth of material resources lying untouched. This discovery has led to an exciting partnership in Massachusetts, one which has businesses, schools, and parents working together to help our children and our environment. Hello, I'm Lester Strong, and I'd like to introduce you to the Boston Public Schools Recycle Centers. More than 350 local industries have donated a continuous supply of free materials to parents, teachers, and students for use in schools, daycare centers, or at home. These materials, which include such diverse products as mylar, styrofoam, plastic pieces, and paper stock, are all industrial waste. But now, instead of being dumped into landfills, the materials are donated free of charge to the recycle centers. Teachers and parents from all across the state come to the centers to stock up on free supplies and get ideas on how to use them. Well, I think this is great. <laughs> I think this is a wonderful opportunity to get some fine junk that's um, just being thrown away when it can be used for so many different purposes. This is my first visit to the center. However, I've heard wonderful things about the center. There's so many activities here that can be used as language enrichment activities. And considering the fact that Boston, that we're working within a small budget, it really helps if you can make materials. Our kids love it. We come here just about every week. And we get all kinds of stuff. Um, the cork in, in different textures and things, they get real involved. I use the recycle center as much as possible. It, saves a lot on paper goods and activities. And by coming here, I learned and sharing with other teachers and parents a lot of different activities and different things to do with the recycled material. The concept isn't new. Teachers have been using discarded materials for years. One reason the recycle centers are so successful is that they save the teachers the time and energy needed to gather the materials themselves. Recycle Center staff and parent volunteers work together to locate industries who have byproducts, overruns, or rejects. Their waste helps to solve a serious problem in our schools, the lack of good material to stimulate creative learning. The average instructional materials budget in the Boston City Schools has dropped to $63 per student. But this year, the Recycle Center will distribute close to a million dollars worth of free materials to 180 communities. It feels like gold, doesn't it? If it wasn't for the Recycle Center, um, I, I, I don't know what I would have done. In the Boston Public Schools, the supplies are limited, particularly in the art room. And I would go over and look at things, and then I begin to develop my lessons around what I find over there. What I like about these things is that it gives them a chance to think, and it gives them a chance to invent and it gives them a chance to do something to find out the cause and effect. If I place this here, what will happen? And I think that's important in the educational system is to teach our children to think instead of always giving them instructions, telling them where to got the I and cross the T. Have them explore and find out for themselves. It isn't simply that the materials are free that make them so valuable to schools. Children, especially between the ages of three and nine, need to explore their world directly and apply their intelligence and creativity to problems they encounter. The unusual quality of recycled materials provides students with unique hands-on learning experiences across the curriculum, from mathematics to art to creative problem solving. Dr. Walter Drew is the founding director of the Boston Recycle Centers. When children explore materials using their own hands, they become totally absorbed in their own creative being. 
it's a developmental need that children have, that we all have, to experience that inner power, that power to create. And materials, like recycled materials, give children access to that power through their own fingertips. So a recycle program, providing free materials, allows them to experience that creative power. That's a great discovery. In fact, that's the goal of education, to discover that inner being. The center serves companies in many ways. Waste disposal and storage costs are reduced, inventories can be depleted, and contributions are tax-deductible gifts in kind thanks to the center's nonprofit status. Tom McNaughton is president of Phillips Manufacturing Company. He welcomes the opportunity for industry to support the school system. What we really need from my side of the desk, we need more people in industry to support the program. And there are numerous industries that can get involved. As long as you have something that a young child can work with his hands and produce or make with his imagination and with his hands, develop something that will make him feel good. State Representative Dave Magnani. We have generally told industry, you can't do this, you can't do that. We've been very punitive in, the, in our environmental policy. We've not really pre created many positive initiatives or positive incentives for industry to say, you know, here's something that you can do that will save you money and that will help children, will help the environment, uh, and will help uh, public schools in general. Here's a, here's a great opportunity to say to industry, you can be part of the solution and not necessarily part of the problem. We have this piece, and the little pink hockey pucks come out. Um, the hockey pucks are waste to us. Not only are they waste, but they are difficult to dispose of in normal recycling channels. So this is a perfect, perfect opportunity for us. Cyrus, how many do you think could fit here? Just guess. 14. 14. Well, I'll try it and see. Let's try it and see. These round circles are great for counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Wow. We started the program a couple of years ago on a small level, and now all the employees are aware of it. And what I find is employees coming up to me and saying, you know, look at this piece. This would make a neat house for a child to play with, and, and really some enthusiasm on, on the part of the workers to come up with neat little things that would go well in the school environment, and they're bringing them to my attention instead of me having to go out and seek them out. So it's a really, uh, it's a very positive program. Everybody's very excited about it. The benefits to our environment are just as important and substantial as those to our schools. Not only are tons of waste being recycled, but also there is a growing awareness of the environmental issues facing our society. The Recycle Center has grown from a single room to satellite centers throughout Massachusetts and has become a model for communities all over the United States. It's our hope that more business education partnerships can be created to provide our children, our parents, and teachers with the materials to engage their hands, their hearts, and their minds. Yeah, I'm going to go home and get it. 